now in the previous part of the lesson we have discussed about the human development index gdp how the economists have their criticisms against the gdp now before going into the development let us see environment what is environment the place or the regions which are surrounded to us is called environment in the environment how is the development done environment and development here we are moving with a view that from the environment point of view how is the development done the arrow is pointing out for us like from the perspective of the environment means from the issue of the surroundings what we are having if you take into the criteria how is the development going on for us is it going on in a possible in a good or in the bad level or like negative impacts are there or the positive impacts are there? let us see now without having any environment support we can't do anything for example let us see the primary occupations what are the primary sectors of work how many of you know the sectors how many sectors do we have yes first one is primary second one is secondary third one is service third service sector now in the primary sector most of the things depend on the environment see let us see here in the primary sector we have the departments which are covering agriculture mining quarrying fishing and others like coals etc now these all see agriculture where do we do in the environment on the land mining digging the land quarrying breaking the hills or hill locks on the land fishing on the land water bodies so these all are interlinked to the development who are doing all these things human beings are doing all these things in this all will trees go directly and do everything for them and come or will the mining like minerals will come from down to up and say i am a mineral for us or will the quarrying the stones will break themselves down and come for us and meet us and say hi i am a stone now or fishing fishes will come up and say good morning for all of us and go it's not possible these all are done by the human beings in order to get certain income and to achieve some development without getting all these things environment is not there means there is no development when there is no environment there is no development there is nothing but people's resources people are directly linked with the environment must for the people environment is must for the people and for environmental activities people are must so these two are interlinked for us if these two are not interlinked there is no development for us and there is no meaning in the development where there is no benefit for people or for environment now practically what is happening for us we'll discuss the sustainable development we were discussing about the environment and development now coming to the environment and development we have discussed various aspects which are relating to this and relating to the development how do we come to the criteria here now let us see into the fact that what is happening at the ground reality level let us see at two examples let us take a farmer or a region where it is having the water problem when there is a water problem for us it means like before we got the electric pump sets the people have to take water from the down with their own hands pull it outside and then leave it into the fields so when the water is that condition the underground layers 
or the levels of the waters in that regions was above than the optimum level optimum level means for example see here this is the underground level of the water think this is land inner layers of land we have various layers again in that we have the water capacity for us they are up to the mark like generally we have up to half but this time we have full layers of the water this is the underground layers of the water but now when once we got the electric pump sets electric pump sets will make our work very easy for us we need not draw the water daily the water will come automatically into the pump the tubes can be connected can be released water directly into the fields so you can switch on the button you will get water supply in the fields at very fast very high speed level earlier we have to draw the water we used to draw very slowly for daily 10 buckets 20 buckets maximum 100 buckets by keeping people under but machine will draw within 10 minutes 100 buckets of water we will not stop in 10 minutes we will put for one hour full field should be water extensively watered in 60 minutes means earlier you used to draw the water of daily 10 buckets meaning one day's capacity here with pump set you are using minimum 7 days capacity of water what you are using earlier today you are using means for one day if you are using 7 days for 10 days how many days you are using 70 days then for 100 days 700 days so per year you are using 3 times to 5 times extra capacity of the water day if it continues continuously for 4 to 5 years the underground water levels will go completely down there will not be any water levels here this is one major problem what we have for us when the underground water levels are not sufficient in any village or anywhere what is it is going to do for us are we going to get any benefits from this we are going to get negative impact from this it is not at all sufficient for us it is not at all good for us we have to check this address very carefully then only we can solve the water problem we have one more example the book name is silent spring yeah the book name is silent spring this book is written by rachel rachel carson her name is rachel carson comes under her surname so rachel carson expresses her views in the book of silent spring about an incident which is happening in our country india she observed it very carefully and came with some specific conclusions like what would be the effects of the indians doing this kind of things what are indians doing now actually are they doing something wrong according to rachel it is wrong what is the wrong thing that indians are doing we'll discuss